What's up guys, it's Danica. It is Sunday, April 5th, and I am in Hong Kong. So, as you can tell, I don't really have very much makeup on. I definitely did not put on concealer this morning. I think I ate a little bit too much salt last night. But it is Sunday, and Hong Kong gyms have been closed for about a week now. I think some gyms closed before. I'm actually a member of two gyms. One that's called Pure, which is a kind of a standard commercial gym where they have lots of equipment, lots of locations. That closed down a couple of weeks ago. And then I'm also a member of a private training gym, which is where I do my personal training classes with my trainer. And that was closed down on Sunday by order of the government that closed down all fitness centers all over Hong Kong. So needless to say, my schedule has been like a little bit upside down. It's also been kind of a stressful week at work because we are now back to a working from home arrangement. Hong Kong started its work from home arrangement unofficially, officially. I think almost all offices in Hong Kong have been off and on work from home since mid to late January when the coronavirus first started emerging as something that could become a real issue internationally. We were just starting to get back to normal in mid late March when I think I think it really happened when the schools closed abroad and about 5,000 students from the US and the UK who were studying abroad who are from Hong Kong, they all started coming back. And I think the mass travel at that moment when the infection started spreading abroad really kicked up a notch here in terms of infections. So over the past couple of weeks, the Hong Kong government has again recommended that offices instill a work from home policy for their employees and the government offices themselves are functioning as work from home. Anyway, in addition to that, pubs and bars have been closed. Restaurants are only now seating parties of four or less and tables have to be six feet apart from each other. So that is a version of public social distancing. Shops are all taking your temperature as you go in and asking you to use hand sanitizer everywhere from like Hollister to like drugstores. Everybody takes your temperature. You have to use hand sanitizer. You have to wear a mask in most situations. And overall, I think that the community here is very, very conscious and very, very cooperative. A lot of people who live here went through the SARS epidemic in the early 2000s and knew how devastating, right off the bat, a respiratory disease could be. Anyway, it is raining today and I, I'm, this is so dumb to talk about with all this stuff that's going on in the world, but my schedule has been so topsy-turvy ever since the gyms closed. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble finding any personal balance. Of course, I feel so grateful and so lucky. I am looking at my friend's social media in New York and in LA and all over the US and those policies where you have to stay at home unless you absolutely have to go out, that is incredible, incredibly, incredibly difficult. And I'm so, I feel so lucky that I, I am in a situation where Hong Kong is a little bit more flexible and you have a bit more freedom and you do have places to go. Coffee shops are still open, malls are still open, people are taking a lot of precautions, but I feel very grateful that I have somewhere to go and I do have freedom of movement and freedom to move around the city. But I have, I feel that like my personal stress levels have been very high and I don't have like a gym to go to, to like run it off or to like get on a treadmill and like mindlessly like walk to nowhere for 90 minutes to get my steps in. I also feel like my personally for me, like I have not been as careful with what I'm putting into my body over the past week. I've sort of like, because my schedule is disrupted, I'm one of those people who's like, if I can't do one thing, I might as well just like let it all go haywire. And so things have just been a little bit kooky for me this week. I've just felt not completely out of control, but maybe a little bit less regimented and disciplined than I usually am. So on the weekends, what I've been trying to do is finding outdoor opportunities to go get my steps in. I, before this past week, I was probably averaging anywhere between 13,000 and 18,000 steps in a day. And this week it's been really bad. There are some days when it's like raining 
or I'm really busy at work that I'm only really getting like two or three thousand steps a day and I feel it like I feel more tired I feel like more flat mood wise um, so yesterday I walked around Victoria Park in Causeway Bay which is about like a 20 minute walk from where I live and today it's raining I looked at the weather report it said that it'll clear up in the next couple of hours so maybe if it clears up I'll venture further outwards but I think for now I'm gonna put on my waterproof rain jacket and I'm gonna walk maybe to Central and maybe get on the ferry and go to Kowloon side because there's a supermarket that I love there and it's called Don Don Donkey it's from Japan and it's a Japanese supermarket so they sell tons of like fish and sushi and Japanese products but um and they sell like vegetables and fruits like it's, it's a supermarket but it's very well priced and they have like tons of really fun Japanese snacks so maybe I'm gonna go check that out again I, I go there like every month or so like once a month it's 24 hours but I've been there in the middle uh, I've been there in the middle of the night and it's not like super great so hopefully it's not too crowded today so I'm gonna try to do that and then I thought we should take a little walk around Hong Kong in the rain so if you want to come with me let's go this is Hong Kong in the rain Yeah, it's not great outside, but I gotta get those steps in. Um, all right, let's go. One thing I got that I'm kind of excited to try out is um, I've been trying out a lot of different kinds of face masks, and this is one that I saw some of my coworkers had. It's from Korea, and a lot of face masks, the surgical ones that we've been using, or the non-surgical ones that look like surgical ones, because they're not really surgical, they just look like it, are just like pleated things with a wire at the top so it conforms to your nose those are okay but i find that when you breathe it like when you breathe it like sucks into your face and gets stuck in your mouth it's not great for meetings it's not great for talking because it's really hard to like breathe basically and then my colleagues at work have this one it's a korean one and you can see that it's a little bit more structured so i bought these at like a convenience store yesterday here they're called Korean N94 masks they're not surgical so don't worry we are not taking surgical masks away from hospital workers or from first responders but it's just a little bit more of like a casual street mask that is disposable which is really important because you know it's important to the germs you throw them away <laughs> um, but I like this a lot more you can see that when you put it on there's more space for your mouth and your nose so you're not like inhaling the, ma the mask into your mouth every single time you breathe so it looks like this i like it a lot and you can see it doesn't move when i talk which is great so it doesn't like go into my mouth Okay, I'm gonna go get a coffee first at the mall, which is where I spend a lot of my weekends. <laughs> although it is still cloudy. There are not a lot of people out, but I guess this is kind of normal for a Sunday. It's like maybe 10 o'clock. So yeah, people seem to go out a bit later here, even like Disneyland opens super late here when it is open. Um, yeah, it opens around like 10 o'clock, where I think it opens at like 8.30 in Florida. Um, yeah, that's my observation. <laughs> Anyway, not a lot of traffic, not a lot of people out, but that's maybe normal for Hong Kong. Although, foot traffic has been a lot lighter in the past few weeks everywhere. Yeah. On the second day that I moved to Hong Kong, 
I had to meet someone here last year in the Lippo Center for a coffee. I was interviewing them for a job. Look at this amazing building. When I first saw it, well, it took me like 30 minutes to figure out how to get into it. It's quite amazing. This is one of my favorite places to walk by in Hong Kong. Right here is the Bank of China building that lights up in the light show every night. Over here, that pointy Batman building is the HSBC building, which is super cool. And then you have the Mandarin Oriental. Super cool here. Something that like I think a lot of people don't know about Hong Kong, unless you have spent some time here, is that only like 25% of Hong Kong land is developed in terms of like buildings and residential and commercial. By law, something like 70 or 75% of Hong Kong remains like completely natural. So there's that amazing stuff. Like people love to hike here. It's sort of like LA where there's like lots of beaches, lots of hiking. I think there's like 29 beaches in Hong Kong and like lots of mountains and like, it's just really beautiful right outside of city center. But there's all these, also these like amazing parks in the middle of the city, which is actually, they're really special. And I'll show you this one. This is just Chater Gardens. There's also like some old buildings right in the middle of all these like ultra modern buildings. So yeah, there's always a really cool surprise around the corner. there's like a ferris wheel that's the aia ferris wheel i'm not completely sure what it's there for but it's been there for a, about a year a little bit more than a year i went on that ferris wheel my second or third day in hong kong i took a bus tour too um once that first week and that was really fun anyway i love seeing it three malls. One to get coffee, one is just like to cross the street, and then to IFC to use the bathroom before I get on the ferry. Um, but now here we are at the Ferris wheel. We're on the walkway there. Check it out. I think this is one of the coolest Apple stores because look, it's just like floating between two buildings. It's massive, it's like three stories. Okay, we're here at the ferry. The mask is riding up. <laughs> but I have my octopus card. Which is like my metro card. And look, it's brown. Yes, the chip is embedded in this card, and I've had this for like a year, which is great. You just keep on refilling it, but it's like for the subway, for the bus, for everything. Going to another mall, Harbor City. Um, maybe I'll get another coffee. It's on my way to Don Don Donkey. Okay, 
Okay, it is unusually quiet in Melbourne today. It's very, very empty. This is like a main drag and usually pretty full. Um, yeah. I went to a couple of drugstores, bought some more of these Korean masks, which I really like. Now I'm just gonna walk around TST. Okay, I'm standing on Nathan Road, which is a big shopping road here. Behind me is Peninsula. It's definitely like my favorite hotel in all of Hong Kong. It was my first day when I first came to Hong Kong in 2017. I loved it. It's so old school, it's amazing. In front of me is a Sogo on the Kowloon side Sogo. It's a huge department store with like everything you could possibly want, including a supermarket. And then here is Nathan Road. It's a very quiet day. And the waterfront is right there. So that's where we came from. So that over there is Hong Kong side. There's Victoria Harbor and then now we're on Kappa side. That is the famous Chungking Mansions and there are like so many like restaurants and shops inside of there. Okay, this is it you guys. We're at one of my favorite supermarkets in Hong Kong, but also like one of my favorite supermarkets in the entire world. Check it out. It's Don Don Don. stores are and I'm gonna do a quick step check. We are at, I don't know if you can see that it's a little blurry, 11,849 steps, which is like okay. I would like to be at like 18,000 today because of all this time, but I think I have to go home because I have so much work to do. So maybe by the time I get home, I'll be at 18,000, we'll see. 